incisor and canine perrier pole. Before you start anything, remember to place a thyroid collar or protective vest on the patient to protect them from x-rays. Make sure the patient understands that they are not to move while the radiograph is being taken. First, you will need to take the size 2 phosphoric plate or film and place it vertically in the bite block with A towards occlusion. Attach the blue bite block to the correct rod and have the phosphorus plate centered in the ring so you can see all the black when you look at the film through the ring, like this. Next, you will ask the patient to open his or her mouth and center the phosphorus plate behind the canine and lateral incisor. Make sure the bite block is also centered between the canine and lateral incisor. Next, have the patient bite down. Line up the x-ray unit so the horizontal angle is perpendicular or zero degrees to the facial surface of the canine and lateral incisor with the vertical angle at a positive 30 degrees. You will then line up the central ray with the ring and make sure it is perfectly set up to ensure no errors. <coughs> Before you take the radiograph, make sure the x-ray unit is set to the proper setting. Next, step outside of the room, ensuring you are at least six feet away from the x-ray unit. Press the button down until you hear a beep. After the radiograph is taken, it is safe to go back into the room and remove the phosphorus plate from the mouth. In the West Division, carefully take the black plastic, open and push the film into the black box, being careful not to touch the box with your gloves.